Hi, welcome to Power Driven Diesel. In this episode, we're going to be testing uh, the Borg Warner SXE 369 in the .80 T3 turbine housing. Uh, we've tested this very turbo before uh, on a different truck, and we were not too happy with the results. So now we have it on Will's race truck. Got a good cylinder head, camshaft, a lot of good fuel. Uh, we're going to see if this guy can make some more power so we can really see what the potential of this turbocharger is. Uh, we're going to do two runs. The first run is going to be uh, 1,300 to 3,200 RPM with no load, just the weight of the drum. And the second run, we're going to load the drum down and run from 1,800 to 2,800 RPM. Uh, let's go ahead and do that and see what kind of power we get out of this guy. All right, I have the graph pulled up here now. Let's take a look at the power numbers and how this thing did. Um, peak power on this guy, on Will's race truck, is uh, the red box to the left will give us our number. 47, 48, 47. So 748 was our peak power. It's pretty pretty potent for a single charger. It's pretty streetable, really. I mean, streetable is definitely opinion-based, but I'd drive it around. wouldn't bother me. Peak torque, 15, 35, 38, 15, 38, so that's pretty good torque. Uh, let's look at this by time. How long does it take to get this thing going? All right, so we started at 1,300 RPM on this truck, which is well below where this turbo is going to make power. We know this. This is this whole area here is not surprising. Uh, I mean, it's way too, below the, too far below the, the efficiency of that turbo. But just for to know, from, from start, zero seconds, to peak torque, Ten point six nine seconds. So if you decide to race somebody from thirteen hundred RPM, you're probably gonna lose. So you know, don't race from thirteen hundred RPM. Is what I'm saying. All right. Th what's interesting I want to show you now is we have tested this exact same turbo on another truck. Uh, this is Will's race truck. It has a good flowing head, a good cam, uh, a lot more fuel, and I just want to show you the difference the whole combination can make versus just throwing a turbocharger on. Okay, so now we have here, this is the same exact turbo on two different trucks. Um, one is Will's race truck, as you saw in the video. The other one was our older truck we no longer have called Oscar. And I just want to show you how the whole combination makes such a big difference. Um, same exact turbine housing and turbocharger. And if you look at the max power, uh, Will's truck made about 108 or more than Oscar on the same uh, foot pounds more torque. Obviously, you know, the race truck has a lot more into it as far as fuel, cylinder head flow, camshaft. It's a much more, a much higher quality build. It really, really shows the turbo's capable of. I, when we had that on Oscar, I never thought uh, it really showed what that turbo can do. So, anyway, at 748 horsepower, that's a real good running uh, turbocharger on a, on a 12 valve truck. All right, we're going to head back to the dyno now and do our next run, which is the 1800 to, to 2800 RPM, a little bit higher. RPM and with some load and see what it does. Alright, so let's take a look at the numbers on this one. 
but loaded. Um, looks like our peak horsepower is down a bit, which happens usually in the next run. A little bit heat soaked, 721. Down about 20 horsepower. Torque went up, which often happens with a load. 1605, six, a little over 1600 foot pounds and uh, 720 horsepower. So, um, yeah, it's definitely a, a proven performer. With that 0 .80 housing, goes on a T3 manifold, uh, spools up really well for the size of the turbo and the power you're getting out of it. And um, really happy with this turbo now. Uh, fun, actually. It rips on the street. So, anyway, uh, that's the 369 uh, on a race truck in the .80 T3 housing. Any questions about this turbo? Always. Feel free to call us at the shop, 435-962-9555. Uh, go to PowerDrivenDiesel.com and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you'll get these videos as soon as they come out. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.